Hi, it's Dave Matuzic here from MacDeck Engineering, and I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks for inside the Mastercam uh, Toolpath Manager. Uh, basically, here in X8, it's a little bit different than in older versions because it's selected from the bottom. Solids, toolpaths, or art if you had it, and you can toggle it on and off from the view toggle toolpaths manager. So you can have basically I don't have any solids on this part so I can actually turn off solids manager and not have options here. I just have the toolpath manager up which is fine because I don't have any solids on this part. The other thing here I can do a couple of features a lot of people don't know about is one of my favorite ones if I have a wireframe drawing here is I want to know what for example op number 8 is cutting. So I just selected here on op 8 you know it's the only one with the checkbox. And I'm going to go up to this button up here. And hold my mouse over. This is display only associated geometry. I'm going to click on that. And you can see when I have that selected and depressed, only what I pick, a toolpath will show me the geometry that goes with each individual toolpath. So that's a handy thing to know about. I can also, if I hit my select all here, I can toggle on and off the display of my toolpaths. That's the same as hitting Alt T on your keyboard. Let me turn this off here so I bring my whole model back real quick. And you'll notice I have all my rapid moves here displayed also, all my yellow rapid moves. A new feature here, hide rapid and retract moves. If I click that, toggles the display of my rapid moves, which are the yellow moves on my screen, on and off. Another neat thing here, this button here, display only selected toolpaths. If I click this here, and let's say I click on out number six, it only shows me toolpath display of the operations that I have selected. If I use these two options together, I can see what I'm doing on each individual piece of geometry for that toolpath. Let's check those off real quick. And I'm just going to check it all on and check them all off here. So that's something new there in, in X8 for that's handy. Another thing I'm going to show you has been there for a while, but it's good to know about. I'm going to right click in here and hit collapse. So I right click where there was no toolpath, and I'm going to hit Collapse. And that just collapses all my toolpaths. Sometimes it'll end up looking like that, you just have to open it up. But it collapses them down so that I can kind of have a more collapsed view, more refined view of what I'm seeing. Another thing people don't know they can do is display options. So right now I have pretty much everything turned on. So with my toolpath, it tells me the order of the toolpath, so ops 1 through 12 what the toolpath is, what world coordinate system I'm using, that's WCS, and what tool plane I'm using, and any comments. Because there's a comment here on this toolpath that says, keep your hand on the red button. So I'm going to just right click in here and hit display options. So do I need to know the operation type? Probably I want to know that. I don't need to know the machine, the numbers, the WCS, the tool plane. Maybe I do want to know the operation comments. So I'll hit OK. That simplified things a bit. But you know what? I miss having my... Some things here. I miss having my um, list numbers displayed. I also miss having to say what kind of machine I had because I don't remember what I programmed this for. I'm going to switch here. I'm going to go here and just change my machines here. I don't know. I have no indication what machine that's set for. So I'm going to come back here and go to my display options and turn back on machine. Now it tells me my machine. 
I like having, you know, display options here. Maybe I don't want to have my operation comment on my group comments. So I have a lot of options here as to what I want to look at and what I don't using display options. And, and most people don't know that's there. Another thing I can do here, I have my toolpath size down here. Down there, see 5.8K. I'm just going to click that. No longer displays that. So I have a lot of options in there as to what I want to see and what I don't want to see. When I have everything turned on, for a lot of people, it's too much information. For some people, it's not enough. So it's just a matter of checking things on and off inside of here. So that's just over a six minute uh, tips and tricks video here, what you can do in the Toolpath Manager. Hope you have a good day and I hope this uh, video was helpful for you.